today I'm reviewing the Coors Wild Rose Foaming Cream Cleanser. And really quick, I just want to say I purchase all these products with my own money. So if you want to help keep the channel independent, please check out my products at the Amazon link below. So I've tried quite a few products from Coors. Uh, I really like their yogurt. I think it was their Greek yogurt foaming cream, foaming cleanser, their Greek yogurt cleanser. And uh, overall, their products are always right in the middle for me. So uh, when they came out with this new cleanser, I thought I would pick it up. I was actually out of town and I saw it in the Sephora, local Sephora, so I thought I would pick it up because uh, I didn't hadn't packed a lot of cosmetics that day. So uh, anyway, I'm going to let you guys know my thoughts on it based on my Sarah score scale. So uh, this is Skincare Sunday too, one of my first ones. So uh, yeah, so anyway... So my first criteria is packaging, and I love how they package this with a pump bottle. I love it, especially when you're in the shower. A good pump bottle is worth its weight in gold because especially like my shower is so cluttered with different cleansers and shampoo and different conditioners and different soaps and just different stuff. So a pump bottle makes it so much easier so I don't have to move all that stuff around. I can just use it without having to pick it up or anything. So I love it. It's very convenient packaging. They've done a nice job with it, so really I'm a huge fan of the packaging. My second criteria is alcohol, and this does not contain any denatured alcohols, which is always a good thing. My third criteria is fragrance, and this is where this one's a little bit of a miss, is it does contain fragrance. Uh, it's, I would say, two-thirds down the ingredient list, and it has the rose scent that Coors uses for pretty much all of their products. Uh, so it is pretty fragrant. So if you have very, very sensitive skin or you're sensitive to uh, fragrances, things like that, definitely want to be careful with this. It's not as big of an issue as if it were a leave-on product, though, that's going to be on your skin uh, during the day or in the sunlight, things like that. So the fact that you rinse it off uh, makes it not as big of an issue. But even after you do rinse it off, it does... Uh, the scent does kind of linger for a little bit. Uh, it eventually does dissipate, but... Uh, it definitely sticks around for a little bit. So if you, especially if you don't like the rose scent that they use, then probably don't want to pick this one up. Uh, but otherwise, it is slightly fragrant. So uh, the other thing it does include is rose oil, which uh, isn't an issue, but it could contribute a little bit to the scent, but that is actually an okay ingredient for the skin. So my fourth criteria is the manufacturing location, and this is like all Coors products, is made in Greece. So definitely no issues with that. Love Greece. So beautiful there. So my fifth criteria is the ease of use, and it's pretty easy to use. Um, I typically either just use this, uh, use this alone, or I use this with my uh, Foreo, uh, that silicone sponge thing. Uh, but the th it's very easy to use. Uh, it does foam a little bit, so gives your skin a little bit of that sensation, which some people don't feel like they're clean until they get a little bit of foam or frothiness. So, um, But very easy to use. Uh, massage over your skin for a few seconds and then just rinse it off. And uh, rinses off pretty clean and does a good job removing the makeup, which is a huge thing. So uh, very easy to use. You definitely can use this without one of those sponges and it'll still do a good job removing all of your makeup and uh, uh, SPF and things like that. So uh, definitely very easy to use. My sixth criteria is antioxidants and they've done a good job including a lot of good antioxidants and beneficial ingredients for your skin. Uh, they have uh, bioflavonoids, sunflower oil, vitamin E, they've got vitamin C, uh, honeysuckle, and then lactic acid. Again, like the fragrance, most of that's just going to get rinsed down the drain, but you might as well expose your skin to as many beneficial ingredients in as many different ways as you can anyway, so it's nice that they included that. Uh, so, unfortunately, it does get rinsed down the drain, but I'm sure exposing it just in a little bit definitely is not going to hurt your skin. Definitely can only help your skin, really. So, they've done a nice job with that. Coors definitely knows a lot about good antioxidants, so... My seventh criteria is animal testing, and the Coors brand is cruelty-free, which I love. So definitely like giving my money to cruelty-free companies. My eighth criteria is performance, and this does an awesome job removing makeup and uh, sunblock and foundation and mascara and eye makeup. It does an awesome job with that, um, which I love. 
actually, after I cleanse and when I get out of the shower, I always use a uh, toner or an essence uh, on a cotton pad afterwards. And the nice thing is after using this cleanser, when I rub the cotton pad over my skin, I really typically find it still looking pretty white afterwards. Uh, there's been quite a few cleansers that have been trying recently and uh, the cotton pad after using those will be completely dirty. So you know it didn't remove much. But when the cotton pad is pretty much white or clean, you know it did a good job removing everything. So I should have saved one of the cotton pads, but I didn't. But um, yeah, so it does a really nice job removing every kind of makeup. My only gripe about it is that after using this, my skin did feel a little bit drier than I like, which uh, have been, if I've looked and checked out the reviews, most of them are pretty positive, but the negative reviews I've seen online most of them surround people saying that their skin feels dry after using this. And uh, my skin did feel a little bit drier. And I'm guessing it's probably from the fragrance or the lactic acid that they included. Uh, so uh, it did feel a little bit dry. Not too much so. But definitely uh, some, a cleanser I probably wouldn't use during the winter because my skin is already dry enough to begin with. Um, but I probably use this for the rest of my body. It's so hard to find a good like soap body soap so I, almost any bar soap i can't use um skin fix makes a lot of good stuff and their cleanser uh their oil cleanser body oil cleanser does a good job but it's getting harder and harder to find and more and more expensive so I might try this one on the other parts of my body but um definitely if you have very dry skin or sensitive skin uh it's probably not going to perform as good for you as as opposed to someone that has more oily or normal or not sensitive skin. Actually, this product has a few astringent ingredients in there. One of them is actually uh, broccoli. So I have a feeling if you have more oily skin, you're it's going to perform better for you, especially if you don't have sensitive skin. And if the fragrance doesn't bother you, then you're probably going to like it a little bit more. So my ninth criteria is price. And uh, this is the full size, which is 6.7 ounces. And it sells for $29, which is a pretty good deal um, if you shop at Sephora for cleansers uh, often. I th I'd say their average cleanser is maybe two, two and a half ounces, maybe three ounces. And they're usually around like $40. I think like the Drunk Elephant Best Day cleanser. That one might be four ounces, but that one's about $40. So getting this much of product for $29 is a pretty good deal. So, and if it's something that you don't have issues with. Um, and... Also, a little bit goes a long way because of that little bit of foaming. So um, the price is right on this one. It's a good it's a good deal. Some of the Coors products are pretty expensive. So um, I was a little bit happy to see that this one was pretty reasonably priced. So I would say a bottle like this will last you at least probably six months, I want to say. So uh, price is definitely a good deal. And then my 10th criteria is the it factor. And uh, had this not included the fragrance... And the fact that the fragrance kind of has a tendency to linger a little bit. I probably would have given it the it factor. But it does include the fragrance and it does linger before it dissipates. Um, and then the fact that it is a, tend to be a little bit drying for my skin. So um, if you have more oily, um, non-sensitive skin, you're probably going to appreciate this a little bit more. Uh, but I'm just... Definitely fragrance isn't the best for skincare. Again, it's a rinse off product, so it's not as big of an issue as it normally would be. Um, but um, yeah, so overall, this got a 7 out of 10 on Skincare Sunday. So it did pretty good. Um, just definitely check out the scent before you purchase it if possible, because you definitely want to like it because it's going to stick around for a little bit of time. Um, so... Um, anyway, so tomorrow's Makeup Monday, so check it out. And then after that is Total Request Tuesday. So if you have any requests, let me know. Uh, anything, skincare, makeup, hair care, um, nail care related, let me know if you have requests. And then I'm also interested if you guys have had a chance to check this out yet or not. Uh, and if you have what your thoughts are or if you've tried any other Coors products. Uh, what from them have you tried and how have you liked it? So uh, leave a comment. I love hearing from you guys. Uh, feel free to subscribe if you haven't already. I come with at least one new video every day. And check out nobsbeauty.net and the Amazon link below. And if you want to help support the channel, give this video a thumbs up. So thank you so much, guys.